All right, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and Liveware application. And in this video, we will be implementing CK editor over here. Now, currently we have a default text editor field, so we'll be converting into something more fancy called CK editor, where we will have different editing options on the text editor field. Okay, so first of all. Uh, let me go through the issues that have gone uh, so that you will not be making the same uh, issues on your project and later we will be implementing the better way uh, of using sick editor okay let's get started so first of all let's install sick editor on our project uh, using cdn so let me copy this link and let me go to app.blade.psv file which is the main layout file And let me go to the end okay and uh, let me paste over here and uh, we now we can do something like this so let me copy this code and paste over here let's indent it okay now we need to create this ID on our, our text editor so let me do note over here and let me go to create appointment form .blender .psp file and on that file uh, over text editor let's add ID of note okay now uh, we are we are creating the CK editor on that particular specific uh, element, specific text area, and then we'll have access to the editor object, and we are console.log in the editor, and if there is any error, we are console.log in the error. So let's see how how this goes. Okay, perfect. Simply we are we added the CK editor easily. Okay, so now now if we uh, click on save if we click on save currently we are getting this uh, issue so let me go to create appointment form and let's do die and throw this state okay so let me refresh it and save it again yeah currently we are not getting this input so this seems weird while using liveware so we are not getting any 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 input text that we have writing here you are writing here okay so let's fix uh, this issue as we have done with uh, time picker and date picker let's first write let's do the same that what we did with date picker and time picker so uh, so now let's me do uh, let me track the change event okay as we are tracking the change event on appointment time so here let's track for the change event okay so to do this uh, let me go to let me go over here and remove this code and let's do editor an edit object we can do model dot document dot on change data Okay. So now let's do console.log changed. Okay, let's see if we are triggering that event, that change event. Okay, yes, it is working. We are now we are tracking the change event as we are tracking the change event over here. Now we are tracking the change event from text edit. Okay. After tracking the change event, we can do we can do the same. So let me copy this and paste it over here. Let let's say note calls to instead of dollar this uh, we are not uh, we don't have access to this. So let's do uh, dollar find the element with the ID of note 
and get the data attribute called node so let's create the data attribute called data node uh, in create appointment form.blade.php file over here let's do data node goes to this and let's return back and let's do console.log note okay so now let me refresh the page and if I if I write anything so we are we are getting that output we are getting this this string so we can execute this code using eval function so as we as we have already done this so let's do the same let's execute that code with the val and this will return the proxy and on that proxy we can do set and we can set this state dot note to the current value so let's do note dot value so now let's try we refresh it and click yeah we are getting this first of all we are getting this weird issue you don't see any uh, any any input text it is just refreshing it is just hiding so to fix this we need to ignore the DOM changes so let's do wire ignore so we are ignoring the DOM changes using wire ignore so let's see if this get fixed here yeah. this is fixed now okay this issue is fixed now uh, as we are ignoring the DOM so if we click on save we are getting the empty string so this is also weird so let me refresh the page again and write something and click on save it is still giving me the empty string so let's change the state and click on save it is still giving the empty string so now it is giving me this string so it is not working as expected right it is not working as expected it is not giving me the whole uh, input text that i have written so let's see this is new and click on save yeah we are just getting the input up to here so actually this is the first issues that I have gone through uh, I didn't realized while testing so so let's fix this issue first to fix this uh, actually if we console.log uh, note dot value let's see what it what we, it will give the output yep we are not getting any output see if we click on save we still we are not getting output but suddenly we get the output yep, this seems weird as we are doing dive into the dom and find the element with the id of uh, note and then get the value but uh, it is not actually giving as the actual value that we are typing over here so to fix this we can do we can do instead of getting the value by using you know, this syntax so let's do uh, editor we we will have access to the editor object in another object we can do editor dot get data okay now let's see if this fix our issue if we click on save yeah we are getting the exact mm, that we are typing new one yeah still we are getting the exact input we are writing okay this seems good but here i see one issue while using the subcodes okay so let me go to network tab over here and clear this everything now if you write anything 
then every time we are sending the network request to the server so this seems not good to me so actually this is working but it is sending lots of request to the server uh, if as we are typing over here so I don't want to do this so let's fix this as well so to fix this uh, instead of uh, instead of tracking the change event let's do something new okay uh, we want to we want to get at the input when someone click the same button over here so to do this let's do mm, let's do let's go to create appointment let's go to create appointment form and now uh, let's add id over here okay id of let's say save okay id of save or uh, let's say submit okay so now let's get back to your to play the psv file and instead of let me comment this part okay so uh, we have access to the editor object and uh, over here let's do let's do document dot query selector find the element with the id of submit and let's listen to this event add event listeners let's listen for the click event okay click event and when that button is clicked and when that button is clicked and let's do let node equals to find the element with the id of node and get the data attribute for the node and we can do the same we can do the same so let's test this currently we were sending lots of requests to the server but see we are not sending any request to the server unless we press the save button over here yeah if we press that save button we are sending one request which is perfect so now if we make any changes over here then we are not sending any request to the server but if we click on save then only we are sending the request to the server which is perfectly fine so now let's implement this and save to database so let me go to create appointment form and let me remove this tie-in dump over from here and and let's let's go to database okay now let me go to appointments uh, we have the those data so let's try saving it so that this time and click on save seems like data got saved to the database yes perfect it got saved but here we see mm, i see one issue so let's fix this so if we click over here we see this drop down mm, it is display the history input so let's fix this let's go to create appointment form and let's find for the form and on form we can do auto complete off okay so it will not display that drop down perfect now i think everything look good so let's try let's try saving the data one more time new note let's let's do bold okay here goes the long description and let me save it let me save it it seems like it got saved to our database so yes everything is working properly fine so i hope you like this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this till then have a great time and i will see you in the next video